Welcome back to the Tyranny Education YouTube page. This question was on one of the problem sets that I gave to my introductory to macroeconomics class that I am currently adjuncting. And I figured making a video to kind of go over the answer would help not only my current students, but other students around the globe that find this YouTube page and are looking for help in some introductory macroeconomics courses. Make sure you like and subscribe so you know when I update new videos and feel free to drop me a message if you want me to make videos on any other questions. All right, let's get started. Firms care about their after-tax rate of return on investment projects. That's just a statement and it's true. In the market for loanable funds, graph is the effect of an increase on taxes on business. Okay, so we want to graph and explain the effects. That's what we're asking. And the change is going to be an increase in taxes on business profits. I give my students um, kind of a, a checklist. The first thing is show the initial equilibrium. So it's saying the real interest rate and the quantity of loanable funds. Real interest rate R, quantity of loanable funds. Let's call that QL. And we know the initial demand for loanable funds is downward sloping. Supply for loanable funds is upward sloping. Just we know the demand side is the investment side. And I have a three-part series that I will make sure um, I post uh, in the description and also as a pop-up about the loanable funds market and the demand side you can go and watch. And then the savings um, or the supply side is my savings there will also be a video that I'll put in the description and maybe even a pop-up that talks about why savings equals investment in a closed economy. So uh, we start with this equilibrium. Let's just call this QL1 uh, and we'll call this R1 just so we can kind of keep them separate. And now we'll change colors. Let's go to purple. We're going to change colors and we'll see the increase in taxes on business profits. And I say, okay, the second thing is which side? Which side of the market, right? We also see that there's no change in federal budget, so we don't have to worry about that side of the market. Which side? Well, this one's pretty clear. Businesses are the ones, right? Business right here that I'm underlying. They're the ones that do the investment. We already put it in there. So we know it's going to be the investment side. So we know that this is going to be the demand side of, so the demand uh, for loanable funds. And then the third one, I always say, okay, increase or decrease. Sorry, the handwriting is a little sloppy there. Increase or decrease. What's it going to do? Is it going to make me want increase more loans or less loans? And if we're going to be taxed on business profits, every profit that I make, I'm not making as much. I got to give some back to the uh, government. So that's going to be an incentive to do less investment, right? I have no incentive now if I know the money that I make is going to be taken away from me. So the demand is going to shift to the left because it's a decrease. And we saw this shift to the left. And there's my demand for loanable funds. My second one, let's just call this two. And there's a new, uh, there's a new equilibrium, QL2, R2. We see the interest rate has decreased. Quantity of loanable funds have shifted to the left. Uh, so that's what will happen. Now, explain what the effect of this investment by firms will happen on the economy's capital stock in the future. Well, future capital stock, which is the future uh, capital, which are like machines, anything like that, uh, will decrease. All right? We know that'll decrease because the quantity of vulnerable funds are going down. We're not going to be investing in the future of our businesses. So there you have it. A very quick video in under five minutes to show what happens in the loanable funds market, the market for loanable funds, if there is an increase in taxes on business profits. Many people think, oh, they're gonna have to take out more loans now because they're not making as much money, but that's not the case. This is about incentives. If we are taking an incentive away from businesses to make profits, they are not going to invest in future projects. And so we know this is going to decrease, which is a leftward shift. We show the leftward shift. We see real interest rates declining and the quantity of loanable funds going to the left. Again, make sure you like and subscribe and ask me any questions in the, in the chat below or send me an email, james at tyrannyeducation.com. More than happy to set up a free consultation if you would like to see how I can help you crush your econ classes.